Welcome back, everyone. Last time I'd mentioned that we're going to start a new uh, survival kind of thing, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I kind of wanted it to be in the, the major city of Louisville rather than the smaller suburbs that we have here. So I installed a mob unless you spawn there. If I can spell this right. Lewis Bill Survival. I don't know what's wrong with my typing today. Anyway, we're going to start there and then we're going to go over the, the different things here. So we'll leave normal for the uh, zombie count. Time. Let's go ahead and start the time of day at 7. Or no. The day starts going to be 1. Time is 7. I get those mixed up. Day length is going to be about an hour. That sounds fine. Um, we're going to have it be July is fine. Whatever. All right. Now for the other sandbox options here. Uh, water shut off. Yeah, we'll just leave it at one to 30 days because I think last time it, uh, it lasted like almost two months. And that was a little bit crazy. I want to feel a little more um, panicked, forced to do stuff. Uh, everything else we're going to pretty much leave how it is for the most part. Um, we'll have loot not respawn because we don't plan on having a... Uh, this is going to be like a, a one life kind of thing. If we die, we're just going to start a new game. So um, let's see. Put a fire spread on. Generator working in exterior. Months since the apocalypse. Yes. Uh, darkness during night, I want it to be bright, so that way we can actually see stuff on the recording. Uh, initial gas station amount, normal. Light bulb lifespan, we're just going to set that to zero. I don't want them to go out, so that's just kind of an annoying little thing there. Nature, hmm, I think all of this is fine. It's all good. Uh, that doesn't matter. This seems like it's all fine. Loot rarity, that's all good. Character, let's go with 2.0 experience multiplier. Um, does affect passive skills. That's fine. That's fine. We'll leave nutrition on, because uh, apparently nutrition was the one that Increases and decreases your weight. I did not know that. So uh, that's, a, that's a thing. Uh, free stat points. We're just going to leave that at zero. Player built construction strength. Uh, injury severity. Uh, bone fracture. Clothing degradation. Rear vulnerability. Weapon multi hit we're going to turn on because I don't know why it wouldn't be on by default. Especially if you're like swinging a baseball bat or like a long, large weapon, why it wouldn't hit multiple zombies, right? Uh, In-game map, that's fine. Vehicles, easy use, governs where the cars are locked. Have them be locked. Let me traction multiplier, that's fine. We're gonna put an initial gas, is normal, has chance, is normal. Bomb rate can be low, cause I mean, low makes sense if everyone left town, right? But I think people usually tend to keep gas in their car and not have it be, like, near empty, right? We'll keep the lock rate to sometimes rather than rare because I feel like in a city people would lock their cars more. General condition, we'll say normal. Uh, car wreck congestion, sure. Car alarm frequency, rare. Player damage from crash, yep. Car damage impact normal, siren shut off, hours damage to car if I play, that's fine. It'll not be lower. We need to make sure to change this to saliva only, so I can only get affected if I get bitten. Um, everything else, I think, is alright here. Environmental attacks. That have not seen heard player can attack doors and construction while roaming. Eh, why would they do that? Um, that's fine. Fence lunge we're turning off because that's just annoying. Okay. 
zombie population multiplier, rallying group size. So I want to set this to maximum. So a group of zombies can be a thousand zombies maximum, right? Um, the distance they will travel to rally, we're going to set to maximum. The separation, we're going to keep it real tight. So we want to get as tight as possible. Um, actually, the distance between zombie groups. Okay, we want that to be as high as possible. And then the group radiation radius. How close members of a group stay to the group's leader. This is the one we want to drop down. So we want to keep that tight. Uh, follow sound distance. I would say zombies should be a little more depth. So we're going to turn this from 100 to 200. Um, let's see. For zombies migrate to empty parts of a cell. Respawn multiplier, the fraction of a cell's desired population. Okay, respawn unseen hours, respawn hours. The number of hours must be chunky. Which one was it that, like, respawns to zombies? Number of hours that a chunk must be unseen for players, zombies to respawn in it. Fraction of a cell's desired population that may respawn every respawn hours. I think if we put that to zero, they won't respawn. Peak population, day 28. Uh, start multiplier. Just the desired population at the start of the game. We're going to put that to 0 0.5 just because it, it is going to be a day one. And we want to have a little bit of time to go through there. Population peak, just desired peak population. Game, we're going to go 1.5, sure. And then I think all that looks fine. Become desensitized. We're going to keep that on. Common sense um, determines, no, that's fine. Proximity inventory. Enable this if you want proximity inventory to work only on zombies. Yes, we'll do that. Um, this doesn't really matter because we're not going to be able to use the skill journal. Uh, so we're going to do this as... Well, let's hit save. And this is going to be... Large hordes no respawns. Okay. Now then, our traits. <clears throat> so... Monday driver, fine. Short-sighted, it didn't seem to affect me very much. I don't think we're going to read much. Um, we're going to have a weak stomach. Let's go ahead and take... Prone to illness, because if we get infected, we're screwed anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and get smoker. We'll get... else is like an easy one to, to take i wonder i think everything else is uh kind of unnecessary I and mean, it would kind of affect us is the problem. i guess slow healing we'll go with that so i took strength before but i don't think i want that because that's 10 skill points that i would just take or waste there let's take thick skin so we don't take as much damage um, so, stout, if I get that, can I get strong? No, okay. So it is kind of like that. I could get stout, that would be not a bad idea. It's lower cost and strong, but let's see what else we can get. So keen hearing, larger perception radius, doesn't matter. Now that doesn't matter. We can do increased experience gains, which could be useful for us. Uh, detailed knowledge of common vehicles, runner, plus one to sprinting. The stuff that just does like plus one to stats, I don't think I really care too much about. But let's get lucky, inconspicuous, graceful. Um, wakeful would be nice. Dexterous to grab things quicker. I think cat eyes would be good, so that way we can actually see better in the night, right? Um, okay, so we have four points left. What, we, what can we get for four? So we can get sower, runner, nutritionist, um, light eater, farming, first aid, 
brave baseball player angler outdoorsman i think out of all of these light eater would probably be the better one to take right with light eater we just don't need to eat as much so that sounds great let's go ahead and save this one as I'm just gonna call it survival kit for now. We'll go next. And we don't really care about our, our character too much here. Is there a random button? I would forget. Yeah, okay, so. Randomize a bit. Go to mail. Serial off. Okay, I was curious if it randomized between male and female. It does. Let's do one more time. Here we go. Boop. So, Grant, the uh, Bowton, is that how it is? It'll be Grant. All right, Grant, let's try and survive here. You know, Grant strikes me as someone who would have reading glasses. So, let's give him them. All right, Grant, let's go. These are the end times. All right, so the goal here is we're just going to try to survive as long as we can in Louisville, the, the large city up north. Obviously, our first objective is going to be to find a weapon and medical supplies, hopefully. A little bit of food, water bottle, you know, the thing. It'd be nice if we could get a backpack, lighter, cigarettes, great. Um, first day, or I guess the first video, which technically is the first day, um, we want to find a safe place to hide. Right. Okay. Here we are. And where are we at? Okay, it looks like there's some uh, retail commercial places across from us. What have we got in this bookshelf and stuff here? Okay. Okay. Let me take this pencil so I can draw on my map. Take the eraser as well, so I can keep doing that. Okay, let's see if we can find some uh, some better clothing or something like that. That would be great to have. What we got in here. We actually have a decent amount of cooking stuff here. That's cool. We could use this as our home base. Um, I do think it would be better to have somewhere a little bit. Um, not more secure, but bigger. It wasn't just like a residential area, so I, I'm thinking maybe a shop of some sort would be cool to take over. Problem with that is we would need to uh, clear it, you know. We can grab those vitamins. Basically, we're looking for uh, any kind of medical and, and stuff like that. It can help us out here in the long run. Sleeping tablets, vitamins. We also got to be careful because we don't have a, a backpack and stuff. We also can't carry all that much weight. So, a gun case. Okay. Let's uh, let's take that. We can put on this uh, this sweater. Can't tear those up, unfortunately. A bikini and a skirt. Well, let's go ahead and rip this up to get some bandages. There we go. So we already have a gun, which is honestly pretty neat. Ooh, is this a... Can I, can I use this? I'd be nice if I could, though, huh? Anything in here? Just some scrap stuff? That's too bad. We got a jacket. We can wear that. We also have a screwdriver. That's great. Okay, we don't have a weapon. I guess our only real thing we can do is uh, use this screwdriver as a weapon. Oh wait, there was a captain in here. Oh, bandages. All right. Okay, so we should probably head out while um, there's gonna be a few zombies, right? I'm gonna check the back of this car. Locked. Hmm. Too. 
What about the trunk? It's locked. All right. It's a funeral home. Okay, that's not an ideal place to loot, I don't think. Oh. Some action. Okay, let's head back this way. I think this was our house. We can lure him into here. I'd rather not, uh... Oh, this was not our house. Well, let's just take him out here then. Crap. A little bit of lag there for some reason, and it uh, kind of messed me up. Oh, we got a zombie at the window there, huh? You guys have anything good on you? Hand for? Okay. I'm gonna try and sneak around a bit here. What did this guy have on him? That stuff. I'm gonna talk about it off. It just bubble. But if I crouch, I'm leveling up my sneak and my nimbleness and stuff like that, so. With that, I can, uh. Better. Ooh, we got a tools place here. Perfect. Push him. What the fuck? Like I was like, nah, I don't want. I don't want to fight this guy. Come on, get on the ground so I can kill you really quick. Or just die, I guess. All right. Real quick, let's search these guys. Uh, we got a watch. Wear that. So we can keep track of time. Just a letter opener. What else you guys got? Nothing. Okay. What about the mailbox here? Nothing. There. Crap. I'm trying to get to them before they got back up and recovered. Nope. Ow. I'm already bitten. Well. That's about how that goes, huh? Honestly, I don't know why I... Why I even bothered to uh, have it be like, I, I should just instantly die if I get bitten. Why, why is it taking so long to quit? Game? Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Large hordes, no response. However, I do want to change. Let's see. Where is that, like, infected thing? Is another character? It's like time before death or something. I just don't know this very uh, quick. Reanimation time. Um, maybe advanced zombie options? No. Where is it at? How quickly an infection takes effect. We'll just do instant there. Okay. Luckily, I, uh, <clears throat> saved all of this. All right, Grant has died. Say hello to Glermo Lacey. Rock and roll. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get bitten in the, uh, the first 20 minutes, but 
That's what happens. Man, we actually had a really good start there being next to a tool store. We could have gotten, like, the tools we needed to, like, survive. Because they probably have, you know, some good weapons in there, but... The problem is we just died. I, I guess I could have just died there to begin with, and then... Created a new character in the same place, but... There's two car keys there, okay? We already have a better uh, better start. Frying pan, let's go ahead and equip that. As our weapon, I'll take this can opener. That'll be very, very handy. I don't really care about much else right there. They don't even have a TV in their living room? Wow. Other jacket, there we go. That'll give us some fight defense. Okay, put it on though, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a closed umbrella, limited impact when using one-handed. I guess I can use that to like, put up against the rain, but I don't think that's gonna be very helpful for us. So we're not going to wear it. We did find some good medical supplies last guy too, which is unfortunate. But wasn't there two bandages in there? Just one. Am I seeing things? Losing my damn mind, I guess. Magazine sheet of paper. Dang, we didn't even find a pencil in here. Where are we? Are there any, uh... Looks like, no, there's not any larger buildings here. We want to go this way, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Looking at the, the maps that we've seen before, that's where the uh, larger uh, places tend to be. Like the, the loot areas. Hey, this guy looks like me. Kind of. Got a watch on you, sir? You do. Excellent. Not a digital one, but it's a watch. Okay. The good news is there should not be many zombies around. As I said before. But uh, let's check this black van. Ooh, it's open. An empty gas can, okay. What you got in here? I'll take this pen. I did pick up two car keys. There wasn't a car outside of my house, right? I forgot to actually check. There's not, unless it's in the garage. Can I open the door? Really? Really? I don't even know what's in here. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's a television here. I guess that's where their TV is. Don't know why they decided to pack it away instead of putting it in their house. Okay. So we have car keys, but no car. Ain't that about how it goes. Oh, apparently this is my car. I crashed it and it just went back inside because that's how I uh, function, I guess. Anything in the trunk? Plug wrench, garbage bag. I mean, I can use the garbage bag as like a secondary like thing like this to hold stuff. Got him. What do we got here? Uh, earbuds, jeans. I'll wear those because they're better than just shorts. Already, I think we look a, a lot better than we started out with, right? Like, look at us. Now we look like 
like a, a, a greaser, right? We started out looking like a, like a hippie smoker kind of guy. Wait, both of these cars are mine? Oh, that's messed up. I got a bandit though. Hey you, zombie. Another key, okay. Well, I guess I have plenty of keys. First, let's check it and see. Yeah, this is pretty screwed. Has no gas as well. Um, this one, probably the same, right? I put the key in. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oop, I want the key back though. For my collection. Unfortunate. All right. Looking at the map. Go ahead and cut across the backyard here. What was that? Oh, hold on. I want to see if I can get into here. I can. Let's go. Maybe I'll find some tools or like a weapon I could use here. That's going to be my new weapon. Rather than a frying pan that barely does anything, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get rid of it too. Flashlight, don't really care. I will take the wrench. That could be useful. In fact, I'm gonna attach it to my belt so I don't have a... Nothing there. I'm gonna take that garbage can and put it in my garbage bag. Do we need a... We need four garbage bags, so if I could find those quick, we can then, when we uh, get a hammer and a screwdriver, we can... We're already starting to group up. Damn. Once we get the hammer and the screwdriver, though, we can go ahead and um, make a rain collector, which will help us out when the water inevitably turns off. A zombie was unprepared for what happened to them. Okay. What the fuck is that? Scarecrow? That's terrifying, man. Oh my god. They're already grouping up. This is horrible. Imagine when they get into like a group of a, a thousand. Oh, looks like this is a gated community, so let's get the hell out of here. Would have been nice to find a car to drive out of here, but I think L is my thinking. Oh. Also, well, I'd like to gain some sneaking and light-footed and maybe some nimble stuff here while we're just moving around. Way too many. I don't want to fight them right now. Gaining a little experience, but not a whole lot. I think they can't be aware of you is the thing. Because they're aware of me when I'm sneaking, it's not helping out. Ah. We're thirsty now. Check the map. Made it a little bit north. Let's check uh, this house here. A wood axe. I'll take that. We also got some nails and duct tape. I think I might actually... If I equip that in both hands, I won't be able to hold on to the garbage bag like I am now. 
I'll just do that then. I'm gonna close that. All right, come on, we need a water bottle. At least one would be great. Uh, I guess there's this orange soda we can drink right now, and then we should get a bottle from it. Uh-oh, that's not great. Here they come. Stay back. Okay. I'm gonna run outside. Hopefully I can get them to come back through here. I just beat the hell out of them. Come on. Who's next? I'll come through another window now. Fuck! I was clicking in the inventory again. guy is terrified. Close that door behind me before I... Before I get snuck up behind, I was going to say. inside. We luckily managed to survive that ordeal a little bit. There's still a couple of zombies. We need a screwdriver. Grab one of them. Um, grab the crowbar. That one zombie is just going to town on the garage door. I want to finish looting this place quick. Um, I'm going to grab these canned goods. I'm going to eat the, uh, the stuff that we can here. Go. I'm going to try to bulk up a little bit, you know. Let's search the rest of the house quick before uh, the zombies really start grouping up on us. Anything in the laundry dryer? Just some ripped sheets here. Bath towel. Here. We got some books over here, maybe. Uh, nothing like I don't think we can use, though. Metal working volume three makes metal sheets. Mm -hmm. Do I already have a pen? I do not. I'm going to grab just a normal pen and an eraser. I already searched that. All right, upstairs is all that's left. Gotta be careful about finding any zombies up in here. A fanny pack. Excellent. Wear that on front, baby. What else do we got? Pants? Hmm. I'm guessing this is just another bathroom. I don't see anything else in here. We need a drink. We do. Let's go ahead and take a drink. Quick. I'm going to clean all the dirty rags we have. Okay. Check this side of the house first. We got crowbar, shoes, hammer, there we go. Attached to my right belt. And I'm gonna attach the screwdriver to the left belt, like we usually have it. Okay. Bathrobe, a guitar. Okay. 
No, it, it could be a good idea to actually um, secure a house and then try to... I already have a pen. Grab one. I don't know why I'm still holding on to these shorts. I'm going to try and get as much stuff out of my inventory here as I can. Already dirty. Remove it and replace it. Uh, the health was dropping really quick. Okay. I just want to have as much stuff in my garbage bag as possible to lower the weight because we're getting to the point where we're carrying a little bit too much now, fortunately. There we go. We got here. And we had a gun case last time and we uh, kind of whiffed it. It didn't even have a chance to really do anything with the gun. We didn't even take it out of the thing, which sucks. Okay, we got a saw. We have the foundations of carpentry. We can start taking stuff apart and and all that good jazz. Oop. Okay. I got a plan here. Let's see if it works. Knock that off, first of all. Okay. Nothing good on him. I think that was the only other zombie that we had near us, right? Anything else that looks decent? No, not really. Okay. What I'm going to do, I think... Do we have any, uh, like, skill books in here? We do not. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Uh, device options. Switch to life and living. Life and living. Whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna kind of sit down here on the ground and uh, watch this go because it'll teach us carpentry. Alright. There is a specific, like, time and stuff that these programs are on. So I think if we leave now... We can probably... I'm gonna take this with me. In fact, let's just read it real quick. That way I can just drop it out of my inventory. All right. This house has been looted. I was gonna say we could stay here for a little bit, but um, I don't think that's gonna be wise to do. Let's take a look at the uh, the food that they have here. I'm gonna eat a little bit. Here we can see our, our weight. And if we eat certain things, we should see it change since we have that stuff happening. There we go. You can see my weight's going up, which is good. It's it's good to bulk up a little bit, you know. All right. Once more, let's go ahead and drink from the sink. All right. Then we'll just hit up the next house then. What about this corpse here? Is he anything on him? I did not kill that one, so. Looks like no. Should have checked the map before I got out. Um. Okay, let's head north and we'll go to this house that's uh, like right above us here. The bandage is dirty again. Once we get inside the house, I'll just pry the door open then. Right again. There we go. Crowbar for the win. Thought I heard. 
Oh, the whole family was in the garage, huh? I like how the one's just bashing his head against the uh, garage door. Doesn't even care about his friends who just died. Oh, they were doing a garage ban. That's what it was. Fingerless gloves. Well, they're better than what I have, which is nothing. So, I also have a key. A rock t-shirt, jeans. I should probably rip stuff up. This is going to add more junk into my inventory. Um, got a hammer. I don't think I have nails, do I? Oh, I got a couple boxes of nails now. I haven't really used anything else that's from here, but I'll take the uh, wood glue. We have another key. That's great. Ooh, we got boots. There we go. Hell yeah. Then these are just guitars we have. And this is just a closet. Excellent. All right. Real quick, let's go ahead and remove and put a bandaid on. And it's infected. Great. So we need to find some disinfectant somewhere. Who's a disinfectant? No, it's your face. Who doesn't fucking have disinfectant? Let's go ahead and turn this to the life and living channel. And uh, that way it'll be on. And we can hear it when we need it. Electrician volume one. Okay, I'll take that. We're not going to try too heavily to do skill box related stuff or our skill related stuff. Um, I don't think I can do anything with the bleach, can I? No. I wasn't sure if I could disinfect anything or not, but uh, the answer is no. There is so much weight. Clean this bandage. drink from that. Okay. Anytime we see a, a sink, we should try to take a drink from it. So We can keep topped off and we're not breaking into our water bottles here. Drink some milk. That'll keep us topped off on our uh, thirst and stuff. Damn, really? Just carrying that hurts me, huh? Fairly heavy load. Hmm. My bandage is dirty again already. That's not a good sign. We're just carrying way too much and we don't have enough to rip stuff. What's reducing my strength? Is it the, the pain? No? I thought I could carry up to 17 or something before, but... Oh, heavy load. Why, why did heavy load just go up again? Nothing changed. I didn't take anything. There we go. We got some cigarettes. Do we have a lighter? We have matches. Perfect. That'll be fine. Box of sparklers. Mouth trap, jar lid, bleach, and stuff. All right, let's see if we can find a bathroom upstairs. Maybe they have a little bit of stuff up there, I guess. Maybe I'll just drop this, because that'll uh, get me a lot of weight down, and I won't have that discomfort, which will cause me problem. What else we got? Silk boxers. Oh, fancy. T-shirt. Wait, was that the thing on the ground? Or Yeah, it was. All right, nothing in here. All right, come on. A pipe wrench. I will need that to do stuff. I can't believe there was no disinfectant in there. We got a rifle, but it doesn't have any ammunition, I'm sure. So... Not gonna matter. Got headphones and a word search. Military green. It's 
I removed the bandage again. I can't believe they don't have disinfectant in here. What the hell are they doing? Go ahead and put that bandana on my face. Give myself a little bit of protection. It'd be nice if I could find a... A, uh... A hat or a head or something. How am I, how am I looking? Did not find what I was looking for here. And if I pick up the uh, thing here, I'm going to be a little screwed. So what, what am I carrying that? I guess I don't need a wood axe. Probably the heaviest thing I'm carrying right now. If I dump it. I could probably walk around without too much issue. That's a bad condition wrench, too. And these ripped sheets, yeah, they barely weigh anything. Plus the crowbar, probably the canned food, and the wood axe that's weighing me down right now. We definitely need to get our, our strength up. That's going to be a, a high priority for us. Up to 17 there. You know what? I, I'm not going to use a wood axe right away. Um, I'm just going to put it in this drawer for safekeeping. I think. Everything else fairly important right now. Um, the crowbar so I can break into houses easier and, and all that. But my problem right now is that the discomfort is going to mess me up here. Also, I should uh, put my alarm on my watch. We want to be 7 o'clock, pretty much. There we go. Alarm is set. All right, so now we can do that. We just have to wait until we're tired or whatever. Did I open this door yet? Yeah, it was just a dead end kind of thing. All right, map time. Man, we are still just in a residential area. That's too bad. That's really, really, really too bad. Okay. Um... Okay. And it's just dirty again. Let's head to the next house. We can... Get in there, find some disinfectant. That'd be great to get rid of our infection here. Oh, by the gods. Okay. Um, hello, all of you. It's a shame there's no actual fences around here. Okay. We're going to drop our garbage bag. Let's out of the fence, let's go! Okay. I think I got him. Nice. That was very good. Do they have anything useful? Looking for like keys or better armor okay well i think that was uh fine there so we'll grab our garbage bag again you know maybe i get rid of the canned goods that i have 
Hello, friends. Do you want to come over this fence for me? Thank you. What? No, hit the ground. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, well, they just decided to jump over there, so it works for me. I really need to find, like, a, a backpack or something. The oh, door's barricaded. Oh, damn, this is a fortified place, huh? Okay, open the window. Oh, hi, bud. Oh, I did want a backpack, so... Nothing else is fine. Alright, let's get through this. Close the window. There might be some more zombies around here, but... It's fine. Device options. Turn it on. Living TV. Here we go. All right. Carrying a fucking plank. I don't want to do that. Drop that. He had a comic book on his backpack. Okay. That's fine. Let's take everything we have in here and we're going to put it into the satchel. Because that will decrease our weight. I believe, right? Yeah. There we go. Much better. And then I can, uh, I guess, drop this garbage bag, put it into my backpack. The pipe wrench can go in the backpack. There we go. All right. Let's have a fucking smoke. Woo! Okay. What do we got here? Metalworking Volume 1. We'll take that. Alright, before we get too far in here, let's start searching. Ooh, a hand axe. How's that compared to a metal bar? A little bit better. And I can also use it to cut stuff, but it also weighs a whole hell of a lot more. I'm just going to leave that open. I remember that I searched it. There, garage. We got another axe in here. Holy shit! Okay, we got guns. Uh, maybe we use this house as a base camp for right now, huh? more canned food. In fact, speaking of, I'm gonna go ahead and just dump this stuff into here. Oh, I'm carrying less and I don't get discomforted. Alright. Jesus Christ, they had... Oh my god. Bro. Absolutely insane. Surely they have to have medical supplies too, right? If they're this prepared with food and everything. Kind of funny that they, uh, ended up as zombies with all this stuff in here. They weren't even carrying guns on them when they died. Bourbon! Ooh! Stairs? Right there. All right, one more zombie to deal with. Actually, this one too, huh? Okay. Another one. 
Damn, the whole family was up in here trying to survive. Got a Louisville map. Perfect, let's read this so we can actually see where the hell we're at. More banging. Long gloves. Huh. Who's banging on shit now? Over here? Only way out currently is this window. Everything else is barred and shit. I'm gonna go kill that zombie so they stop knocking on the damn wall. Hopefully it's just one. Yep. I don't know how I did not get bitten or damaged there. But uh, I'm not gonna complain. Alright, let's get back inside. I think the house is secure now. Just a couple of things I want to do before we turn in for the night, because we are tired now and we are a little bit fuzzed. So that's great. Um, like I was saying, we need to find a bathroom or their medical supply stash, which they should have, right? There we go, hockey mask. Farming, fishing, electrical, book, pen, whatever. All right, this bathroom is down here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Really, dude? Oops. I, I interrupted myself to own this. There's no way they don't have medical supplies stashed somewhere. Come on. Civilian bulletproof vest. Wear that. Leather gloves. Wear those. Better than fingerless gloves, huh? And if I need to, we, we have the sleeping tablets that we can use to sleep with. But why do they not have any medical supplies? Where the hell are your medical supplies, guys? I mean, I have plenty of weapons and stuff to last for literally days, but medical supplies, please. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Also, I can't, I can't get past this chair. Heels ball. Come on, medical supplies? No. They have no medical supplies in here? What was their plan? No, damn it. Didn't want to fall down there. I don't think I'd looted this room yet. So maybe this was their fucking medical supply room? Actually, I think I did loot it, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just uh, uh, take some sleeping tablets. And uh, I'm going to drop this on the ground. That way I'm not uh, overburdened and stuff. Okay. <sighs> Shit. I mean, this place is good. Right? I 
one will see the satchel that I dropped. There it is. It was hiding. Okay. I'm going to remove the bandages again. Of course. Okay. So yeah, we, we need to find disinfectant. Um, I'm going to leave this house. It's going to be our, our base camp, essentially, right? And I'm going to have this be our base camp for right now, like I said. And we're just going to go look for disinfectant. Let me check the map real quick. Did I get any? No, I got over there. And I am in suburban hell right now. We're just going to go across the street, see if we can find anything. Gonna have to kill these yahoos. Okay, if we lure them over here, we can get them with the fence strat. Make sure nothing behind me. Okay, come on. Come on, losers. Not though. <laughs> Bandage. We're just bleeding laceration scratch. It's fine. No. On the ground. Hit the ground. Painkillers. Alright, excellent. Got anything on you? No. Okay. Can I open this door? I can. Excellent. Driver, box of nails. Oh, hey, lady. Didn't see you there. my pipe doing it's still okay in condition that's more bourbon for me dang these fancy people love their fucking bourbon don't they some beef jerky while we're here keep ourselves in uh well-fed condition bleach paper bag yada yada a meat cleaver and not that great a condition unfortunately okay what about this door right here yay a bathroom with no fucking medical supplies Let's check the upstairs bathroom. If I could fucking run. I gotta stop so brazenly opening drawers. More painkillers. Everything that I do not need. Military boots. How are my boots looking? They're still in good condition. Fine. gun case. Okay. Carry that on my secondary. More guns the better, right? Not that I'm using guns at the moment or anything, but... Come on. Disinfectant. I'll take the tweezers. I haven't found those yet either. A revolver, huh? And a satchel. All right, a new satchel. That's perfect. That means I can put some stuff in my back. Where did I get this saw from? Am 
I drop his gun case and uh, put it in the satchel? I can. I don't know if that helped or lowered anything, but did it. Come on, come on, come on. Disinfection, 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 disinfection. Yeah, baby. Killing me here. How is disinfectant the one thing I cannot find? Hmm? Hmm? The old shits? Surely in here? Nope. These damn rich people. You know why they don't have disinfectant? Because the disinfectant... Uh, is used by the cleaning people. Woo! Right there, baby. We're gonna go ahead and drop that. Big hiking bag. That'll help out a hell of a lot. And I'm just gonna take all of this stuff and put it in the big hiking bag instead. Oof. From, like, over by 14 to not that bad. I cannot believe this. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's because these rich people are hiring cleaning people, and the cleaning people bring their own stuff because the rich people are like, oh, we're not going to provide you with materials, why would we do that? Because they're assholes. Keep? Oh, of course not. Why would the rich people leave their fucking, you know, key in their car? this zombie before he fucks with us. Hammer time! Any keys on you, Yahoos? No? Fuck. That could have been bad. He's on YouTube? No? Who the fuck car is this then? Remove broken glass. Climb through. Okay, you can stop hitting that now. You have a key? No. Cans I need to find like a poor person's house where I can find some goddamn disinfectant. I will take mechanics volume one though. I'm not sure when the uh, broadcast for the starts. Oh my god. Come on, man. Already have that belt. 
Is this a door? I, I can't. This. Why? Why do you not have a medicine cabinet or anything in your goddamn house here, man? Bro. Y'all are killing me here. Okay. Someone's getting shot. But what can I use cologne for? Why does it have a thing there? Give me that. I can use cologne to disinfect. Okay. Wait, before I remove that. Stop, stop. Shit. Disinfect. Cologne. Disinfect. One bandage. Use. Sterilized bandage. I lost half my health doing that, but that works. So let's clean the bandage, and then let's go ahead and disinfect another bandage. So I can use cologne to disinfect a wound, but the bourbon, uh, but I can't use it to disinfect a bandage? Okay, well, good to know. At least we managed to find something to disinfect our wound with. Maybe I, I did not realize that I could use bourbon to disinfect my wound. I would have done that earlier with the bourbon that I had found. Briefcase with nothing really decent in it. <laughs> okay. Boots, a first aid kit. I will um, take this first aid kit just so I can get the suture needle out of it. I'll take that duct tape. Okay, did I search this place? I forgot if I was just running around manically searching for disinfectant or if I actually searched. I know I didn't search down here because I was pretty occupied. I definitely don't need a bunch of those. Stale cooked mutton chops, huh? Might be some tortilla chips. And I'll eat some marinara. I'll take these chips. Uh, the chocolate. Huh. This evaporated milk does... I guess it's canned. If it was not... If it was opened, I could actually eat it. But chocolate? Chocolate chips? Graham cracker? Marshmallows? Oh, yeah. We're making some fucking s'mores, baby. Where's their sink? There it is. Right, first we'll drink, and then we'll fill all of our empty bottles. Okay, cool. Oh. Uh, where is my... The mechanics only book I have right now? That's fine. Oh, did I miss the broadcast? I was going to read a book in front of the, uh, the TV, but I guess I missed it. Okay, so we need to head back down to that one. And also, I should probably put a, a little house icon there. Signify that that is a decent place for me to be at. Okay. Let's return back to our place down here. Is it that house or the one below it? The one below it, okay. Right in the middle. No, it was not. Was it? No. Fuck. Was it the one above? It was. I'll just have to erase my, my pen marker there and new one in. Also, I can just open the fucking door. I, I remember that now. actually just open this door. Oh, because it's barricaded. That's why I didn't write. Forgot. 
All right, Satchel, I'm going to pick you up, put you in my secondary real quick. And then uh, I'll just put you down right here. Okay. Let's close these curtains. And uh, let's lower the volume. Oh, we already are. Okay, perfect. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and just close all the curtains on the ground floor here. So that way the zombies can't see me as I'm going about my game here. the amateur hour over here they haven't put sheets over the doors okay that should be all for the ground floor other than the tv or not the tv the uh the doors but if i'm right here they shouldn't be able to see me very easily so okay let's check this. What did I have in here for books? Those ones. Okay. Let's replace the bandage. Okay, the infection's gone. It's perfect. Right, let's see what other... Also, before I forget, real quick. Uh, remove marking, and then we'll put the marking back here. There we go. All right, let's see if there's any other books that we can read here. They're just kind of stashed anywhere. Oops, come on, move around. There we go. I'm going to grab this metal bar and equip it. I think there was just weapons in here, yeah. Okay. Sure everything in here was fine. What was this room? Kitchen, right. Go ahead and clean the vent, not a kitchen, a bathroom. So let's drink. Throw a water bottle. Um, let's go ahead and wash yourself, because... Wait, stop. I have soap. There we go. I think if we if we stay clean, we should heal faster. Maybe I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning my my other stuff here. Okay. Let's take a look upstairs for other skill books. We're just gonna focus on volume one because I mean that's all we can read right now. Um, grab one of those. Because God knows we need to know more about first aid. We already got electrician. I don't think we're going to do a lot of farming, but I might as well take it for right now. I'm not going to fish or trap. I already have metal working. I should probably read that. We have more bourbon. I'll take that and uh, make some more disinfected band-aids. Go. I can make some spears out of the stuff they have here. take the time to clear out the bodies, or at least put them in a room that's away from me. Alright. This is all we got for the books. It would have been nice to find a carpentry one, but... Well. 
Um, I think I will actually move these bodies away from here, though. Just because they, uh, it was inside, and this is where I'm gonna sit and read. Okay. So, let's read the farming one. Because I'm pretty sure the TV can talk about that at times. And having this would be great. Speaking of, we, we learned some farming there. How's my health looking? Dirty bandage already. Well, I will replace that dirty bandage here in a moment. You know what, actually, I think this is a good time to wrap things up. Um, since we have uh, basically just found a good place to, to lay low and uh, all that. So what I will do is I'll just kind of go through reading some books, watching some TV. And once I'm out of the books, I don't think I'm going to sit here and watch a whole bunch of TV. But... uh. Once we're healed up a little bit more, we can go back out and try to find a, a better place to survive in. Because I mean, we could stay here and survive. Sure, it has a bunch of guns in it. But it really beats the purpose of survival, right? If we already have been given this that someone else found for us. We, we might take a gun or two with us when we leave. But I uh, kind of want to limit our amount of supplies that we're carrying from this house. So... We'll see how it goes, and until next time, bye for now.